Hello, I'm Dr David Waterhouse, Senior Curator of Natural History and Geology at Norfolk Museum Service. Welcome to Secret Worlds. And once again, you join me in Secret World HQ, my garden shed. This film is a little different from the others. Instead of talking about an animal or group of animals that we share our worlds with, I'm going to be talking about how important green spaces and the natural world is to our mental and physical health. Most of us know how important good mental health is, and we know that poor mental health often leads to poor physical health. Worldwide, mental health problems cost us a staggering £1.6 trillion a year. One way to help keep your own mental health in good order is to take advantage of the green spaces around you. During the COVID-19 pandemic, my local green space, which happens to be the dead centre of Norwich, Earlham Cemetery, has been a real lifeline. Just a couple of minutes' walk from our house in Norwich is a wilderness of trees, plants, insects, bird life and even mammals such as deer and foxes. Just walking 20 minutes amongst the many trees or sitting on my bench for 10 minutes really helps with any anxiety, depression or stress that I have. And being in a green space and nature has proven to help anyone, no matter what age, class, colour, religion or wealth, so it really is a catch-all remedy. And of course, we talk about green spaces, but really any space which has plenty of nature in it is equally as valid. Blue spaces, such as rivers, lakes and the seaside, are just as useful in helping our mental health. Green gyms and green exercise is also important. Taking a run in a park is much better for us than running on a treadmill in a sweaty gym. It's been proven that exercising in a green space benefits us more emotionally and gives us more chance to reflect on life problems than exactly the same exercise indoors. But green spaces as therapy isn't all in our heads. Plants such as trees capture carbon dioxide and even pollution, taking them out of the atmosphere, allowing us to breathe in cleaner air. And it's not just exercise outdoors that helps us. Actually just being in nature is really important to our well-being. Did you know that humans can see more shades of green than any other colour? Which is why night vision goggles output in green so we can see more of what's going on. Having more to sense and perceive actually helps our brains. But you don't have to go outside for green therapy, as growing things is also very therapeutic. Planting some cress seeds indoors or tending a houseplant and watching it grow can be hugely satisfying. Green space therapy isn't a new fad. We've known about the benefits of experiencing nature for centuries. The Japanese practice of shirin-yoku is known as forest bathing in English. Now it may sound silly at first. But just lying down and being calm and quiet amongst trees, observing nature and breathing deeply can help de-stress and boost health and well-being in a natural way. Some forests even have special forest bathing beds carved out of wood for this. But you can find a log or take a picnic blanket to lay on. I promise you it really helps. You don't have to meditate in nature for it to help with mental health. I find that I naturally set little tasks for myself, which keeps my mind active. Nature is a brilliant but pressure-free learning environment. You could listen out for different bird calls and see if you can recognise them. If you don't, then use your phone to find out what it was. There are some brilliant websites and apps out there. Look out for different insects such as butterflies and caterpillars during the summer and again use your phone or computer when you get home to look up what you didn't recognise. Look out for different species of tree. How many do you know? If you don't recognise one, look it up. I didn't know what this one was but I researched it and it turns out it's a Mexican white pine named after the sticky white sap on the elongated pine cones. An absolute joy. And nature is always changing, so at different times of year there are very different things to look out for. 
Mushrooms are great to spot, especially during the autumn and winter, when the leaves are falling off the trees. You don't have to pick them, and many of them are poisonous. Just look out for them, identify them, and photograph them if you like. So there you have it. I'm no mental health expert, but I do know nature and what helps me. If you're lucky enough to live in the countryside, or have a small park, or even a cemetery nearby, or just a few house plants, green spaces can really help with anxiety, stress, and depression. And I know from experience, because they really help me. <laughs>